Carbon Mineralization Lab advances technologies to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and store it in carbonate minerals for long-term uh, safe storage. We work very closely with the minerals industry. We have a large number of collaborations with the minerals industry because to advance this technology, we have to work with active mining in order to generate the, the feedstock for the process that we, that we are working on. And the challenge with this is that essentially every other renewable energy technology has a much higher density of metals embedded within them than fossil fuel energy sources do. So whether we're talking about electric vehicles, we're talking about solar panels, wind turbines, they all have a much higher metal demand than fossil fuel does. And so to make this energy transition that we want to achieve at a global scale, we have to deliver these energy technologies, and that means delivering the resources that make up those, um, those physical materials. So the batteries, the wind turbines, uh, electrical power connections, so an enormous volume of copper, nickel, lithium, cobalt, all the metals that make up those technologies have to be found and they have to be mined in a way that's acceptable to society. And we have to do this, and if we're looking to hit net zero by 2050, it has to happen in the next you know, less than 30 years. And we work with the minerals industry to take these technologies and advance them to pilot scale. Geoscience BC is supporting the Carbon Labs research as part of a regional assessment of the province of British Columbia. Our funding directly supports researchers to assess the abundance, location, shape and aerial extent of serpentinized ultramafic rocks in British Columbia using existing geological, geochemical and geophysical data. I think that it's important to know or have some foresight into the locations and depths and volumes of these rocks that have the potential to sequester carbon dioxide because that will allow miners to have an advantage in planning and designing their mines and their facilities that they could potentially eventually use for sequestering uh, CO2. This is why collaborative efforts like the Carbon Lab are so important. Identifying how carbon dioxide can be absorbed at some mine sites can make a significant contribution, whether it's to reduce the impact of a mine itself or to capture emissions from other nearby activities. The research within the Carbon Lab is fundamentally multidisciplinary and we have a lot of collaborations across the university and in the outside community. We work strongly with the Mineral Deposit Research Unit at UBC. The MDRU is an industry university research collaboration and it really serves as a portal for us to engage with the mineral sector. The interdisciplinary collaboration is also very important because we have to have experts um, across uh, lots of different disciplines from microbiology to hydrology to geology to mineralogy to address the challenges and problems that we recognise that we have to solve. And most recently we've become focused on engaging more with local communities in the areas in which we work, particularly Indigenous and First Nations, who have an important stake not only in the climate change problem, but also in the use of their resources and their lands. So engaging, I think, with any group takes a, a large commitment to really understand a, a community or a group in, in, a, in a deeper, more meaningful way. And I think the, the science of climate change, really finding areas that um, I guess would impact the life ways of an indigenous community would really be the, the job of the academic institution to, to try to bridge that gap and to, to show these indigenous communities how, how climate change might be affected and how they can partner together to um, reach some of the goals that uh, these communities might have. The work that we're doing in the Carbon Lab is incredibly important for the urgency around climate change because we are focusing on putting together a series of existing technologies in new ways to solve the climate change problem. And to graduate student involvement in the Carbon Lab is absolutely essential to the advancement of our multidisciplinary research. We draw on graduate students from a wide range of disciplines and from around the world, and they bring with them both the expertise and the perspective that we need to advance this research. This project really gives me a way to use both my passions, both geology and environmentalism together to make it feel like I'm, to feel like I'm making a difference. When I realize that I can use some geological knowledge and work together with other people and try to look at solutions, um, that just makes me really excited. We're at the frontier of the research and then, you know, with me conducting uh, experiments in the lab, it's, it's fundamental research and I feel like it's very, very exciting and I'm very proud about what I'm doing. 
The most exciting thing we're doing in the lab right now is we're, we've been scaling up from, from milligrams to grams to kilograms, but we are now on the cusp of starting to test and deploy these technologies at the tens to hundreds of ton scale. And so for the first time, we will be running demonstration projects that are sequestering carbon dioxide at the scale of tons. We all know that we need to deploy these technologies urgently, and so the upscaling and the demonstration of these technologies at large scale is absolutely paramount.